Social media and YouTube are part of daily life now. So don't you think it's important what you're watching and what you're subscribed to? So today we are going to be having a conversation about how you can limit and remove certain social media and YouTube accounts to increase productivity. With that said, let's talk about it. It's very easy nowadays, especially with, you know, all the social media accounts that we have between TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube, etc., to find yourself getting lost for hours, you know, on these accounts, yes. you know, you're on it. And then next thing you know, you're like, oh, my gosh, have I really just been scrolling for like two hours on like a compilation of dog videos? <laughs> like, <laughs> right, right. You know, it's very easy to get caught in a rabbit hole. And so it is really important to be mindful of what you are subscribing to and, you know, just dedicating a lot of your time to. And it's kind of scary to think about, but this is the reality that we live in. And mm -hmm. definitely people that are 35 and under that grew up basically with social media. Well, we, we kind of are on the tail end of that. We're like, yeah. When we were kids, we didn't have social media. I sound so old saying that. Yeah, we had to go outside and play for hours. <laughs> and your parents would be like, oh, you're not coming back in yet. Uh, no, stay out there a little bit longer. Right. And so you but, couldn't like be on your tablet or yeah. this or that. But mm -hmm. back when social media first came relevant like yeah. with myspace and even yeah. before that black planet i don't know if y'all know about black <laughs> oh, planet, black but. planet oh my gosh <laughs> but mm -hmm. like that was like in our later teenage years but yeah. now these these kids nowadays they're growing up from you know toddlers to knowing what social media is mm -hmm. and every generation after or after us is mm -hmm. going to have to deal with social media and and limiting social media in some type of yeah. way so i think it's important for you to really be focused on the things that you are watching and mm -hmm. you're subscribed subscribing to, to on a daily basis so if you're watching a whole bunch of just funny videos and things that really aren't adding any production to your mm -hmm. life it's just like quick laughs yeah. or like gossip sites or just a lot of things that aren't really adding any type of value it's fun and games, you yeah. know, it's, it's all, it's, it's good to have some, mm -hmm. some funny videos and, and mm -hmm. just focus on that. But you also have to have some type of things that you're watching that is going to add value to your life and is going to give you production. And mm -hmm. whether it's career advice or if it's financial. Yeah, I think it can, I think it can be anything that is going to honestly help with personal growth right. and that okay. can be many different areas of your life and don't get me wrong you know watching funny videos can add some sort of value yes. at times you know you never know what a person is going through right. may need a quick laugh and so you know we're not saying like don't watch that ever you know because we we enjoy it but when it's to a point where maybe that's all you're consuming, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it's nothing that is really going to help with um, personal growth, increasing productivity, or you're telling yourself you want to do certain things and you've noticed that it hasn't happened. Maybe it's good to look at, look back on and see what your habits are. Right. Does that include you maybe using some of these social media accounts that you have to pour back into yourself, such as like, uh, like you said, what, uh, looking at videos on like your career, like things you want to do to improve around the house or right. wh whatever it may be, just improving your, your overall, um, you know, personal self. Right. And, mm -hmm. and I would say there's a lot of pros to social media and yeah. to YouTube. I mean, there's like, YouTube University is yeah. a real Oh, thing. I'm a full time like, student at YouTube University. <laughs> like if you don't know, the first thing you do is you either Google it or, or you, you go to YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So I mean these are these are this is a real thing. Yeah. So there's a lot of good value that can come from mm -hmm. watching a good YouTube channel or yeah. watching or having uh, being subscribed to certain uh, Instagram or, or accounts that yeah. is going to spark something in your mind to mm -hmm. better yourself in mm -hmm. your individual situation. But I think it's very important just to be mindful of your consumption, how mm -hmm. much you're consuming on a daily basis of the funny cat videos or the gossip websites yeah. or following celebrities. Like, yeah, it, th there's there's a lot of things that you can be subscribed to and that are going to catch your eye and going to yeah. be entertainment. Mm -hmm. But at what point do you turn the entertainment off and start 
focusing on more things that are going to be productive to your life yeah. and to your circumstances mm-hmm. and bettering yourself. And mm-hmm. like she said, personal growth. And yep. that's, that's what we want to focus on. And that's yeah. what we, that's what we do here on our channel. So we're hoping that you get some value from the conversations that we yeah. have and subscribe to our channel, but it's not even a plug. It's more so just like focus on things that are actually going to serve you and serve your life yeah. in better ways. Now, like she said, the funny cat videos and, and the, the pranks and all that mm-hmm. stuff, they're fun. Yeah. And I'd say don't eliminate them. Have fun with it. Like, you yeah. know, it, it serves as some comedic relief in yeah. life and just stress relief. Especially coming uh, off of the past few years yeah. that we ha- we've had. We all can use some comedic relief. Yeah. yeah but um, there has to be a limit. Balance. You know, there has to be balance. That's the perfect word. Mm-hmm. Um, there has to be balance, um, especially if you have you know, set some goals and you said, this is what I want to do, you know, and you start in Jan, you, you write these goals down in January, but then you look up and it's May and you haven't done anything. I think that is a, a good time for you to say, okay, well, what are my daily habits right. and what does that consist of? Right. Because you'll realize that your habits is what is essentially going to get you from you just creating a goal to you actually um, accomplishing that goal. You have to put in the work too, and your habits are a part of that, what you do in your daily practice. And so, um, you know, we, like you said, we just wanted to have a conversation about that because I get it. It, it can be scary sometimes how you don't even realize you've been on social media yeah. for so long. Like I have even like caught myself, you know, just scrolling on YouTube and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I look up. And it's been two hours and I'm like, okay, I got to do something different. I said, I'm going to read a book in 2022. Let me go pick up a book for for 20, 30 minutes just to kind of get the juices flowing. And even, and going back just a little bit, you know, even if it is January and you said you wanted to do something and now it's May, you haven't quite done it. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just start it. That's all Mm -hmm. you have to do is just start. We're not saying shame on you, you know, for not doing it because it's never too late to to start. But you really want to be mindful of what you're subscribing to and what you're tuning into day in and day out. And is it deterring you or slowing you down from reaching your goals? And if it is, then it's a good time to, you know, get the ball rolling and really smash them goals that you created, you know? A hundred percent. Yeah. Now, To kind of move forward with with this conversation that we're having, like what are some replacements instead Mm -hmm. of instead of watching all the funny videos Mm -hmm. and the gossips and Mm -hmm. uh, celebrities? Yeah. What are some replacement type of content that Mm -hmm. you can use or that you can watch rather than Mm -hmm. those things that we just talked about? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because I feel like our channel (laughs) 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 will be great, you know. Sorry, not sorry, but this is what we create. Like Mm -hmm. we're creating and we are setting up a community where we are having conversations to elevate your circumstance. So if that is something that you're looking to do, then definitely tune into our channel. We talk about all certain things from health, wealth, finances, love, happiness. Like Mm. we want the best for everyone. So this is what we're going to talk about in our channel. But just kind of stepping away from us. I know me personally, when I am looking for personal development, I really want to pour into myself. Brendan Burchard, like he mm. is awesome. He is a motivational speaker, a life coach, and probably so many other things that I can't even like think of. But um, I've seen so many of so many of his videos, and he provides great tips on how to just elevate. You know, and it in all at, um, areas and categories of your life. Um, what about you? Any channels you can think of? You hit on something really important, and I think motivation. Yeah. Like, I think watching things mm-hmm. and, and viewing things that are going to inspire you and mm-hmm. motivate you are mm-hmm. very important. So somebody that I'm really inspired by and has been doing it for a long time is Tony Robbins. Yeah. Oh, Tony, yeah. I mean, Tony Robbins is, he, he's the guru. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll put a resource in the link down below yeah. to a couple of these channels that we think are, are good for mm-hmm. just production and just yeah. getting you inspired and, mm-hmm. and enlightened to say, okay, this is what I need to do mm-hmm. in my life and this is how I need to start my days yeah. and so on and so forth. Yep. Um, I do have another one, especially love to support like black owned, really starting from the beginning and really just growing their channel. And I'm actually new to following them. I'm 
redoing my, my fitness journey, trying to get back and be more consistent with it. But I just um, recently subscribed to Juice and Toya's page. We've actually did a workout together. And my goodness, like they are great when it comes to just like health tips and like videos. If you want a quick 10 minute, 15, 20, 30 minute from beginner to advance, like they're great. So when you see the guns start to come in soon, uh, shout out to them for, for helping me with my fitness journey. So, you know, these are just a few channels. And like you say, you'll put the resources down below, but these are just a few channels to provide you guys to help you get those creative juices going and, you know, different areas of your life. So these are just a couple of ways that you can just be more productive in life. And I think talking about social media specifically and talking about the YouTube content that you're watching, I think is really important nowadays because we start our days with social media and YouTube mm -hmm. and we end our days with social media and YouTube. So it's only right to really address such a, a prevalent thing that's in our lives now. Mm -hmm. And we got to continue to be mindful of the things that we're watching yeah. and that we're subscribed to. Yeah. So continue to have things that are going to be productive to you and your life, to your career, to your, the hobbies that you're practicing work around the house. There's so many things that you can learn on YouTube. There's yeah. so many things that you can just get inspired by and motivated by it to help you in your individual life, spark something in your mind so that you can have a better today, tomorrow, next month, next year. Mm -hmm. So this is just another conversation that we're hoping adds value to your life. Mm -hmm. So my name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Bye. Enjoy the journey.